So here they come, the players emerging to the sound of the age-old West Ham anthem. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Chelsea have been dispossessed, and here's Kudus for West Ham. And he'll drill it straight at Sanchez. And then Mavropanos sends Jackson spinning. That's a good turnover there. Possession, Enzo got caught, and West Ham immediately releasing Kudus, who's very dangerous. Here's Jackson for Chelsea. West Ham struggling to get back a bit here, and Jackson has gone all the way through! Barely three minutes played. West Ham lackadaisical in their defensive duty, and Nicholas Jackson has made them pay. I mean, they're so sloppy and casual there. West Ham after conceding the free kick, Mavropanos, they just don't switch on. Pakatar is complaining to the referee as we speak. I'm not entirely sure what about. What is, without question, is how positive Nicholas Jackson was. When he received that ball, he could have dropped it off. Look, it's all a little bit... Look at the West Ham players. Nobody on their toes. One bissaka back to play. And all of a sudden, a couple of little passes and it's played round them. Now, they may be arguing about whether it was the free kick was taken from the right spot, but... Credit Nicholas Jackson there, because as soon as he's picked that up, he is sprinting, he is going 100 mile an hour straight for that near post. Kukurea's placed pass is taken up by Jackson. And that's Palmer! Oh, brilliant. And it was very nearly two. Another great run. Jackson spinning out, West Ham nowhere near, haven't got near anybody yet. I think I've seen a tackle from a West Ham player. Another great run. And Cole Palmer should be scoring there. That should be in the back of the net. Fullback role is becoming contagious. Yeah, it certainly is. And it allows Bukukurea to play there. It allows Enzo to make those runs. Here's Jackson, and he's been sprung well. And he's finished beautifully too. What's a goal. And he's turning his 50th Chelsea appearance into a party. That is a brilliant finish. That really is top-class stuff. Another really determined run from Nicholas Jackson. But that finish, and sometimes he's been criticised, and I think fairly for being indecisive, not today. The first one from that tight angle, didn't have much option. That one... That shows the striker now finding his feet and getting real genuine confidence because he's struck that beautifully with the outside of his boot, really confidently giving Ariola no chance. Again, Kukurea picking that position up just allows Enzo to move a bit forward. Now all of a sudden, gaps appear. People are being dragged out of position. Somerville, Kilman, Pakatar, slipped through for Kudus. That goes up. Not going to count. It's unlucky. Yep. He looked like he was just offside, just the wrong side there. Rattling passes into people in good areas. Yep. Really smart decision. But that's better football. It's a better tempo to what West Ham are now doing. He'd love to have seen that one go in. Tosin, Fofana, Madueke, Chelsea enjoying their football, enjoying the sunshine and enjoying the scoreline as Madueke tries to increase it. Lucky, first real chance there for Noni Madueke off that right side. Takatar, Kudus, and Kudus, it'll come for Socek. Colwell, Socek, Kudus. No way beyond Kukurea. Yeah, good tackle. Kept his eye on the ball there, Kukurea. That was a foul from behind by Socek by the looks of it, but 
Advantage being played, and Jackson has played in Cole Palmer! And it is three for Chelsea. What a great goal. Brilliant finish, wonderful run from Cole Palmer to go beyond Nicholas Jackson and offer him an option to his left or to his right. But where on earth will West Ham, when they lost the ball, I mean, they're so easy to play through. And they've started this second period like they did in the first. They're just nowhere, miles off it. Brilliant goal. Wonderful goal from Cole Palmer, and that will settle Chelsea down massively. He knows now. Somerville. Pakatar. Juan Basaka. Inventively done. Bowen's first touch not ideal, but he's still got the shot away. <laughs> Bowen. Juan Basaka. Kudas trying to get there and keeps it alive. Of course, the clearance from Colwell. Pakatar. Mavropanos. Soler. Again, Kudas does great, you know, keeping that alive. Bowen. Now, Chelsea have got the numbers here. It's Palmer and it's Noni Madueke and West Ham, frankly, are nowhere here. And Madueke draws a save and three of his teammates are looking plaintively at him and saying, well, hang on a minute, what about us? Pedro Neto. Unkunku. Fernandez. João Felix. Hit it hard, didn't he? I think Ariola moved. Attacking move again. Joe Felix just getting that out of his feet. Hits it nice. Just wide of the post. I think the goal is getting anywhere near that if it's a foot the other way. Cresswell. And it's Irving. Bowen and Antonio Caicedo Neto Caicedo Bit of depth, Colwell, and then Unkunku, and poured away by Ariola. Antonio. Juan Basaka. Socek touched off for Kudus. Blocked by Tosin. And that becomes a platform for a Chelsea counter. Four Chelsea players, three in claret and blue. Neto with the afterburners. Dewsbury Hall. Shall Felix. Good shape as well, wasn't it? Unlucky. But when it comes to Shall Felix, watch, he shapes to go far post and then drags it towards the near. But it's not going to be a good night for him. Not a happy weekend either. He's got lots of work to do, Lopetegui. A comprehensive Chelsea win. A pair of goals from Jackson. One in the second half from Palmer. Chelsea goes second for the time being. Ten points from 12 for them. Three home defeats to open a season for the first time in West Ham's history. Problems for Lopetegui. West Ham nil, Chelsea three.